Hi, my name is Giovanni Fredes, and with my partner, Jerry Lebissier, we will be discussing the pros and cons of magnesium. Magnesium is a 12th element in the periodic table and is an essential nutrient for the human body. It can be ingested from different foods within our diet, water, and in supplements. When ingested, magnesium wants to behave like a noble gas, neon, so it will give up two electrons, thus making it into an ion. Once it becomes an ion, it can become biologically active in the body. Now for some general info about magnesium. Magnesium is an important mineral playing a role in over 300 enzyme reactions in the human body. Its many functions include helping with muscle and nerve functions, regulating blood pressure, and supporting the immune system. It is important for normal bone structure and also plays an essential role in cellular reactions in the body. Foods that are high in fiber are generally high in magnesium. Dietary sources of magnesium include legumes, whole grain, some vegetables, seeds, and nuts. Magnesium is vital for many bodily functions. Getting enough of this mineral can help prevent or treat chronic diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and migraines. Magnesium is one of the seven essential macro minerals. These macro minerals are minerals that people need to consume in relatively large amounts, at least 100 milligrams per day. Other magnesium facts include that 20, 20 to 70% of magnesium we ingest gets absorbed at the small intestine. It is then moved into the bloodstream to interact with different tissues. More than 50% of magnesium we ingest is stored in the bones along with calcium. The rest is stored inside the cells while 1% remains outside the cell. In relevance with ATP, since ATP is a functional unit of energy within the body's cells, magnesium helps in the creation of energy by activating ATP. In relevance with muscle contraction, magnesium plays a role in regulating muscle contractions just like in the heart. Magnesium acts as a natural calcium blocker to help muscles relax. In your muscles, calcium binds to proteins such as tryptophan C and myosin. This process changes the shape of these proteins, which generates a contraction. Magnesium competes with calcium for these same binding spots to help relax your muscles. In relevance with acetylcholine release, magnesium can inhibit the presynaptic release of acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction, decrease the sensitivity of postsynaptic receptor to acetylcholine, and depresses the excitability of the muscle fiber membrane. Mechanism of magnesium. Magnesium plays an important role in relaying signals between your brain and body. It acts as a gatekeeper for the N-methyl D-aspartate receptors, which are found on your nerve cells and aid brain development, memory, and learning. In healthy adults, magnesium sits inside the NMDA receptors, preventing them from being triggered by weak signals that may stimulate your nerve cells unnecessarily. When your magnesium levels are low, fewer NMDA receptors are blocked. This means that they are prone to being stimulated more often than necessary. This kind of overstimulation can kill nerve cells and may cause brain damage. All right. So some forms of administration for magnesium include magnesium sulfate, which can be seen in the vial on the slide as an injection for intramuscular or intravenous use. Another form is magnesium oxide, which comes, which is also presented on the slide as a dietary supplement in capsules. Another form of magnesium includes magnesium citrate, which can be shown in the bottle to the far right as a laxative. And another form includes magnesium hydroxide. And on the bottom are four examples of magnesium found in foods, such as spinach, chocolate, avocados, and almonds. So some pros of magnesiums, some pros of magnesiums include how magnesium acts as a cofactor for more than 300 enzymes. This regulates a variety of functional, of fundamental functions, such as muscle contraction, neuromuscular conjunction, glycemic control, myocardial contraction, and blood pressure. Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in the body. 
Yet studies have shown that 50% of people don't get enough of this essential mineral. Magnesium may reduce migraines. It may support health or blood sugar levels. It may lower high blood pressure levels. It may boost anti-inflammatory benefits. It may lower PMS symptoms and it may improve bone health as well. And now for some cons of magnesium. A high intake of magnesium from supplements can lead to gastrointestinal problems such as diarrhea, nausea, and or cramping. A very large doses can cause kidney problems, low blood pressure, urine retention, nausea, and vomiting, depression, lethargy, a loss of central nervous system control, cardiac arrest, and possibly death. Magnesium supplementation may also give rise to some drug interactions. Uh, some examples for these interactions are with tetracycline antibiotics, including doxycycline, uh, diuretics such as furosemide, and prescription proton uh, pump inhibitors, including esomeprazole magnesium, which is also Nexium.